at Arts and Fashion Week is a multidisciplinary event that's focused mainly on fashion. So we present everywhere from fashion design, fashion films, photography, performance, dance, all centered around fashion. Well, this year's theme is in fashion, unfashion. So what we're doing is presenting contrast between two ideas, things like earth versus industry, minimal versus extreme, grit versus glamour are all going to be explored throughout the week. We always wanted to, yes, focus on local Toronto designers, but we really want to bring international perspectives to Canada. For me, that is about presenting diverse perspectives around fashion. So not only presenting different mediums, you know, but also presenting different types of fashion. The inspiration for this particular collection was Russian theme. So being inspired by this woman coming right out of Tsarist Russia and going into communist Russia. Being a strong woman, but also being fearful of them being confident over top of that. From our travels to Japan and some of the urban lifestyle um, stuff we saw in LA, such as like we call it a high speed style of dressing, which is like big prints, logos, symbolism. We just really like it. I was very influenced by Japanese streetwear. And so with Japanese streetwear, it's very colorful, very playful. And so I wanted to take that element from the Eastern culture and bring it here to North America. Because you are living in the time that everything is so much in rush. And you are working, you are going all day to work. And sometimes you feel you need more than two hands. For this one, it was um, kind of like a military-inspired nouveau romantique. So I just felt like it was like really dark. So I wanted to kind of like have a new twist. Everyone's just kind of in their own ways right now, and kind of a little lost, but still strong. It's just like this kind of dark romance. With this collection, like de facto, I want to work with tool because the challenge as well it was the cotton candy, you know, the carnivals and the colors that they used for that. So. That was my initial inspiration. I assumed that any of my dresses could be on a red carpet and look great. This year I was really inspired by um, the 20s and sort of like the decadence of the decade and like the over excess of like the glitz and glamour and sort of like success is leading to sort of like more negative things. The inspiration is from uh, old Persian instruments. Each dress has an um, actual piece of instrument on it. It's um, a more free platform to, of expression. Fashion Art Toronto was amazing and they helped us a lot. You get to put a bit of creativity into it, but they also kind of hold your hand if you're not too familiar. This is the best place for me. I am so happy with everything and it makes the experience so much better if I'm doing more than one thing. The space is beautiful here. This is a new space. Uh, it just feels a higher fashion. It's really accessible and it allows a lot of different designers from a lot of different places. It's a really top story. It's really an eye-opening collection for all aspects. This is like a great opportunity to, to slip that in there a little bit. Fat is about designers just putting out the best of what they can create. I think it's a great platform because it provides so much freedom. I couldn't have done this like anywhere else. Mainstream, non-mainstream, creative, everything. The great thing with Fat is I think that it, it's such an art and fashion based uh, fashion week. So when you come here, it's not just like designers focusing on like commercial sides of fashion. Like you get to see avant-garde, you get to see couture, you get to see a little bit of everything and I feel like that makes it more exciting.